How's it going, everybody? This is your boy, Barber in Demand, ST Wagstaff. Thank y'all for tuning in today to my channel, Barber in Demand. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is the Bull City Barber in Demand razor. I love this razor, man. Super convenient, small, compact, fits in the hand really conveniently. Um, we we'll talking about a couple things that I use this razor on. It's great for detail, line work, shaving, just about, just about anything that you're gonna use a razor on during a haircut. Um, so today, let's go ahead and move forward with the video. So I'm gonna show y'all a couple small details about the razor today. Um, one of the first things is, <clears throat> if you notice, this razor doesn't have a handle on the back. As well as, if you notice, it has two holes for finger, you know, for finger uh, comfortable setting. Um, I use this razor, I hold this razor like this. Um, it's a couple different ways that you can use it. However, it, it, it takes for you to feel comfortable while you're shaving. Um, also, if you notice here, um, on the inside, the inside here is a place for you to hold your razor. Uh, as well as the back swing arm. Um, it splits here. It's held together by one screw. Um, it holds together with a Phillips head screw as well as a nut on the front side. As I was saying before, it has two places for you to place your fingers, whether it's your index and middle or whether you're just gonna place your ring finger and you know place uh, the, the ring finger here on the top or as well as you would like to use it this way. Uh, it's many different ways that you can use this razor. This depends on the size of your hand. Um, I have a smaller hand as well as I'm also right-handed. So the way that I use my razor is, uh, is, is actually like this. Uh, I like to keep control of my razor with my index finger. Uh, I like to have it here on the top. Um, another thing that I will say about this razor, uh, there's a couple different designs that I've seen before. Um, uh, other people that uh, release their razor um, on the back, the back swing arm. Uh, it's actually uh, originally when I wanted to release a razor, um, a lot of the architects that were designing this razor had an opening here, which was a little bit more uh, dangerous uh, to have if you were going to use a, a whole razor instead of uh, breaking your razor in half and placing it inside. Um, doing the service, I, I always use uh, both sides of my razor, so um, one of the dopest things about this razor is the fact that it can actually hold a whole razor blade, uh, which is the reason why I wanted to make sure that for you guys, as well as for myself, my own safety, and anyone that purchases this razor, that, you know, is a full closure on the backhand side. Um, so, go ahead and move on, show you guys, um, the type of razor and how I actually set the blade um, to hold the razor. Um, one of the first things in opening your pack um, here, uh, what you will receive is a case just like this. Um, you open it up, see a nice smooth inside as well as an elastic band. This elastic band will always hold your razor. Um, pretty much in, in preserving the life of the elasticity of the band on the inside, I'm always gonna make sure that I slide my razor right through uh, the inside here, um, this way, in this manner, instead of going from the back. Cause you know, you wanna make sure that, you know, when traveling and stuff like that, that your razor's not gonna move around um, too much. Um, on the inside as well, I never leave a razor on the inside of the holder. Uh, if you do so, uh, <laughs> as, as I've been through a couple times before, uh, not really thinking about it, but having a razor on the inside in this elastic band, uh, I have cut a couple of elastic bands, so you wanna make sure that you're definitely removing um, your razor before you slide it through this elastic band because it will cut through that. Um, secondly, um, when opening the razor, when taking it out of the actual elastic band itself, one of the first things that I do to make sure that the razor is actually gonna be able to hold its blade um, I open it up here, hold it in this manner. I'm gonna take both fingers, index, as well as uh, middle finger if you need to, and you're gonna squeeze 
the front side of the blade right right here of the swing arm and you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna make sure that both of those are touching like this without a razor on the inside when you're doing this because you can really uh, really hurt yourself. So I squeeze those two ends together. Uh, there's no need to use any pliers or anything like that. Um, a, a good finger squeeze two or three times is gonna make sure that you know the metal is, is bending tight enough. Um, I have a lot of people ask me um, what type of blades I use. Um, I normally use uh, Dorco, Prime, Dorco Primes uh, blades and or uh, Astro blades. Uh, today what I'm placing on the inside is my Astro blade. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I place uh, actually one pack of these inside of every purchased uh, BID razor. I'm gonna open it here. Pull out one. I'm gonna open it carefully, of course. Take your blade, pop it out. I'm gonna open your razor. Um, and opening your razor, if you're finding that the blade is a little bit too tight and you can't separate these two here, you're just gonna come here to this small nut here. Uh, apply a little bit of pressure to the back where the screw is and you're just gonna un unscrew this nut here just a little bit not too much because you just you know you just want to be able to make sure that it's gonna open up uh, as as well as when you close it back um, on your razor you're gonna want to make sure that you tighten this nut back up so you know the razor isn't falling apart and the razor isn't moving when you're shaving okay so I'm gonna take this whole blade not a half um, even though you can use a half blade if you like, it's not something that I suggest, but you know, this is what I do. I'm taking, I'm gonna place this blade on the inside in this groove here. So not the small grooves, but in the kind of diamond shaped groove uh, right here on the inside. Um, you have two raised uh, metal dots here in which that's what your blade is gonna sit on. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna try to make sure you guys can see this really good. Um, I'm gonna take this and you're gonna sit it on those two grooves. For exposure, because I always shave with an exposed blade, it gives me so much more detail and actual visibility when I'm doing a design or a razor cut or a full facial shave or a head shave or even if you're just texturizing your client. There's so many different things that you can use this, this blade for on a haircut, whether you're a barber or a stylist. So stylists, don't think that because you're not a barber or because you're not doing razor facial shaves that you can't use this to texturize some of your lady clients' hair, okay? So I'm gonna take this blade, I'm gonna slide it all the way down, just like this, to give that maximum exposure for detail. And you can see right here on the other side of that, uh, before I actually close up the top half of this blade, you're gonna take and slide this completely forward. There's actually a little bit of adhesive, which is one of the, one of the great reasons why I like using the Astro blades because they, they put a little bit of adhesive on this blade. So it's actually gonna kinda stay in place for you as you're closing that blade. Um, you're gonna slide it here, close it up like that. Make sure you're being really careful that that blade is you know, slid all the way down so none of the blade is actually hanging out of the back side here, okay? So you can see right here. And when you put these two together like this, before you close this top swing on, take and grab your blade really carefully. And with light pressure, you grab that blade and pull it down slightly while you have both sides of the razor uh, closed. And remember earlier when we were talking about uh, making sure that you squeeze the top swing arm. You want it, the reason why I said you don't want to use pliers or you don't want to squeeze it too much is because if you squeeze it too much, then you're going to find that when you get ready to close your blade, that it may stop here because it's too tight. The reason why you're squeezing that blade is to make sure that when you close this down, it goes on firmly, but firmly enough to where when you get ready to use this blade to shave your client or to do a design or doing texture or whatever, that while you're shaving, that this blade is not gonna move. And after you do that, your blade is ready to go. Like I said, there's so many different ways 
that you can hold this blade. Um, this is the way that I typically use it. Um, you know, I, I, I do a lot of designs for my clients. So, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I may hold it this way just to make sure that if I'm doing a design on the side or at the top or whatever, that my blade is able to move in any location on the face, under the neck, or anything that I'm using this blade on. This is the reason why I came out with this blade because a lot of the other blades that I was using, you know, were so big and, you know, is a little bit too heavy or, you know, different things like that. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I was giving y'all a razor that you're gonna be able to put a lot of detail in, but not a lot of pressure on that blade. I notice a lot of times, uh, you know, barbers, uh, when they post their pictures or things of that nature, you know, you'll notice the redness of the beard line or a lot of, you know, red irritation in a design or whatever. A lot of times that's because your blade is so heavy and you may be a little bit more heavy handed or maybe just a little too light handed so you're applying too much forearm strength to your, you know, to your actual shave itself. So I wanted to come out some with something dope that has a, a good weight to it. It has a lot of different ways that you can actually hold and use the blade, uh, depending on the hand, you know? So I, I wanted to give you all options. Uh, like I said, it's, it's super dope. Um, it's small. You can, you know, you can put it anywhere. This small case, it's gonna fit in your bag, your book bag, you know, whether you're traveling on a plane, it's dope. You can't go wrong. Like I said, if you wanna purchase this razor, you're gonna go to the link below, barberindemand.com. You're gonna go to the online store and purchase this blade. This blade is available online for $35. That's only for a little while, okay? So you wanna go ahead and purchase your blade, right? Thank y'all so much. Make sure you check out this razor, the Barber In Demand Bull City Razor. Thank y'all.